Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. So the big buzz around Leopard involves one particular feature called Time Machine. And Time Machine is a tool that runs in the background that will automatically, incrementally back up anything that might be on your system, as long as you said to have it automatically backed up. Uh, people are in love with the feature and for good reason. But in order to take advantage of this, you have to have a hard drive that is formatted a certain way and connected to a computer that is running Mac OS X Leopard. So here I'm inside the disk utility for Mac OS X. And for those of you who have a Mac, you've probably seen this before. I have a, a few options here in the sidebar, which disks I wish to select. There's my primary hard disk. I don't want to touch that. This is an externally mounted FireWire drive. If you can see that symbol there, it's FireWire. I've got it right now. I'm zoomed in on the screen and I've reversed the colors uh, to make it a bit more uh, vibrant. In fact, here is the MaxTor external hard drive in question. I love the design. This is going to look so awesome on my desk. Uh, I've got it connected again by FireWire 400. Unfortunately, I don't think they have a FireWire 800 uh, drive yet, although if they did, I would certainly be using FireWire 800 over 400. Uh, less system overhead than USB and, of course, like faster. So here is where you have to be careful. Uh, you know, of course, there's really nothing on this drive other than what came with it by default. I'm going to set up a partition, but I'm going to erase the drive and format it Mac OS extended journaled name we're gonna call it time machine because that's what it's going to be used for now at below I can choose to erase the free space set security options or erase I'm going to erase now it's asking me the disk has one volume one touch four plus are you sure you wish to erase the disk? Time machine? You're darn skippy. Because if I'm going to use this as a time machine volume, I need to have it set up in the volume format, Mac OS Extended Journal. But that's just the beginning of what you have to watch out for. Down below, it gives me information of what's going on. It tells me it's formatting this disk as a Mac OS Extended Journal with name Time Machine. It's got a progress meter. More importantly, uh, you know, obviously some diagnostic information there. I see the partition map scheme as master boot record. Well, the partition map scheme can't be master boot record if this is to be a time machine drive. So to change that, do you want to use time machine to back up with time machine <laughs> with the feature? Time machine keeps up to date. Yes, I want to use it as a backup disk, but not right now. I'm going to first partition this volume and making sure instead of it being master boot record partition map scheme, select that volume, one partition, name, let's name this partition. Now I realize I probably shouldn't be calling it time machine, huh? Here, we'll call it Eloy. Options. And this is where it gets important. You have to use the GUID partition table. Now, this is the appropriate scheme to use if you're going to be using it uh, as a startup disk for an Intel based Mac or specifically for a time machine hard drive. Got it? Okay. Apply. Likely going to prompt me again. Partitioning this disk will permanently erase all the data from the disk. The volume will be erased. This volume will be added. Or you wish to partition the disk Mac store. Partition. Creating the partition map. And 
by the way, if anybody understands the reference of Eloy, I would be impressed. I would be very, very impressed. I suppose it's a very geeky thing to, to do, but oh well. So now that I'm reformatting it, partitions complete, partition map scheme, GUID partition table, I should be good to go. Now, do you want to use Eloy to back up with Time Machine? Time Machine keeps an up-to-date copy of everything on your Mac. It not only keeps a spare copy of every file, it remembers how your system looked so you can revisit your Mac as it appeared in the past. Yes, I wish to use it as a backup disk. Now I'm going to zoom out a bit. I hope the text is going to look fine. Now granted, you're saying, how did you get your Mac to look all black? Uh, I'm just reversing the colors scheme. So if I do Control, Option, Command, and then the 8 key, it will go back to normal, but it's easier. You're seeing a, a more dynamic contrast by using a, a black color rather than the, the normal gray color of the window. So we're going to use this backup disk. Here we go. Time Machine is on. Name Eloy. Options. This is where I'm going to be very careful here. Do not back up. I don't want to back up the system directory exclude the system directory. That will save me a massive amount of time. Now granted, you say, well, what does that mean if I go to restore the information from a, a backup? Well, I can always archive and install, which is a great setup option that Mac makes available to you if you use OS X. So when you insert a CD to reboot uh, and to install OS X, you can choose the archive and install option, and what it'll do is actually make a copy of the current system, put that somewhere else, and then back up uh, just the uh, uh, the items that you have, like applications, documents, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it's another way of, of kind of going about saving some space. I mean, I can always go and choose to, to back that up again, but I'm just going to save some time on the archival. There we go. You've chosen to exclude. Would you like to exclude other files installed with OS X, such as system applications and Unix tools? Exclude all system files. That's going to save me, well, it's calculating the size is that big. But like I said, why would I back up a system file if I'm just going to restore from the system disk at some point in the future? I mean, I'm not going to be editing system files. You just shouldn't do that. Don't touch system files. That's kind of what got people in trouble with the, uh, the whole Mac uh, Leopard install blue screen problems. Uh, they had inadvertently possibly installed a Haxi uh, an application enhancer, which is cool, I mean, for what it does, but not cool because Mac OS didn't like that. All right, uh, so now, in 100 and some odd seconds, it's going to back up uh, all the things that I currently have on the system. And to tell you the truth, there's really not much on my system right now. I uh, just got done with a, a fresh rebuild of Leopard, and now I'll be able to flip back uh, to earlier revisions of any files that I make changes on. Time Machine is a huge selling point for everybody. This is awesome, and it's only going to get more awesome over time. This is what my dad has been waiting for. This is what you have been waiting for, because chances are you don't back up, or your backup mechanism is a kludge, or worse yet, it costs you money. This is awesome. Well, anyway, hopefully that'll help you get through your first time in, uh, machine uh, installation and setup routine. Uh, hopefully we covered all the bases for you. Don't forget, you can dynamically change the size of the partitions. That is true. It's another thing they added with Leopard as well. So uh, anyway, if you have any other tips or tricks to pass along to me, I'd certainly be happy to accommodate you uh, and uh, possibly you know read them back or demonstrate it for the rest of the community at large. You can email me, chris at perillo.com. If you think Time Machine is cool, leave a comment. Say it's cool. Or if you think, no, it's stupid. Who's going to use that? Well, let me know. Uh, of course, you're also welcome to swing by our chat room anytime, day or night. We're typically talking tech. You never know what's going to happen. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.